What's going on, traders? Stockafella. I haven't done a video in a long time. I'm sitting down really fast eating food. I have like eight minutes. Sorry about everything, you guys. I just been hella busy. I am gonna make a comeback really soon. I, I um I am in mulling you guys for the long term. I just want to put full disclosure. Um, I'll show you how many shares hopefully in the next video and stuff. Right now, I wanted to do a quick video about like psychological or key resistance when people ask me about key resistance and key levels like 50 cents is a mental 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 a good key resistance um so you think about it mentally if it crosses 50 what's the next target every 10 cents there's gonna be there's gonna be resistance every 25 cents so if we cross 50 cents the next resistance will be uh 60 cents and then 75 cents Yesterday or pre-market, we did make a new high. Let me check really fast. Sorry, I got the window open, but you might hear stuff in the background. Got my baby with me today. Say hi, baby. Hi. You guys know her. She just graduated. Um, hopefully she's gonna be a RN soon, soon, soon. So um, congratulate her. And then back to this, you guys. Like, I want to show you guys how to watch the 50. Like right now, I was telling her I really want to see big size on the bitter size. Like to to to. To, to hopefully see like 50 hold another thing is before before i forget you guys the 50 ma is right there let's not forget to mention a lot of traders use that so basically if it goes below the 50 ma it's gonna see probably a down for it but every time it touch, touches the 50 ma i'm watching times and sales i mean a level two and times and sales just to see if there's gonna be big buyers trying to hold that 50 cents and that's like second, third confirmation if, if you guys are scared uh, by it. But this is like our last 10-minute play. So we're going to sit back for the last five minutes and watch the tape and see what happens. What we're looking for right now is big buyers in the green. And then um, not too many sales. And hopefully this is this will hold. Um, if I come in right here, you guys could see a wedge pattern right here. So we got pressure building up. I Like I was telling my girlfriend right now, I think it's going to squeeze the aftermarket. Hopefully I could be wrong. But uh, I'm um, reading it like the tape the whole day. It looks like it's going to squeeze to me. We had we did have a really good pattern coming into this before they announced news today. The news was, I know you guys, Um, I tell you I don't care about news too much, but this is like a long-term investment. So they did uh, acquire rights licensing to a new um, car company. Where'd it go? There we go. A uh, new, new company called Igor. Igo. So, Mullen Automotive Stores after securing sales license for Igo. You guys can go to Yahoo Finance and check that out real fast. So, let's chill for the next few minutes. Watch the tape. All my traders, how the hell you guys been? I will be making videos really soon. I did open a new business. You see, got, you, you see did you guys catch that? That's what I was just talking about. If, if, if you didn't catch that, go back and um, see what just happened. I'm not going to say. If you caught that, leave it in the comments. So now it's a fight between the the bulls. Did you see the shorts covering right there too? Now it's that basically we have a few minutes. We have shorts covering and we got some big buyers trying to push it above 50. They don't even want it to come near 50 because they know if it comes near 50, it's more riskier to, to crack 50. So they're trying to keep it as far as 50 as possible right now. We do have VWAP under us. You guys know Al, the algos flip sometimes when it's above VWAP. But right now it's still mixed. So watch the last couple minutes. Watch that volume bar where we're... We really need volume to, to be like this candle, but in the green. So right here is the two minute and the one minute candle for the close. And we're going to get rid of this. So let's watch the tape. Hopefully they can get to 60 in the last minute. Watch the squeeze, you guys. We got four minutes left. All right. We want to really next. We really want to break this little trend because above here, Shorts are using this trend line right now to short, if you've seen that. So if, if, if it comes above here, there's going to be a lot of pressure. If, just like if it goes below or down here, there could be a lot of stop losses. The whole thing is like times and sales and the level two is, is critical, like times like this at key resistance and key levels. I'm going to give it a couple minutes. Got somebody smacking the bit, smacking the buy right here. Forty thousand shares almost. All right, we got another forty thousand share seller waiting for this pop. Three minutes left in the market. As you guys can see, I have two cents in this account. 
I'm loaded on Mullen, uh, Mullen full disclosure. And I am not a, a professional licensed um, yet, you guys, but soon I will be. But right now, for now, I have to say I'm not professional. So do not follow my trades. I'm just letting you guys know what I'm doing or the technical analysis on this. I'm hopefully holding for the long run because I'm, like, done with the instant gratification. I really don't have to, time to trade until, like, another month or two. So right now, I'm just swinging trades and finding good plays for the long run, hopefully. People are talking about this is going to reverse split, but I highly doubt it. They're going to, um, they have until March 6th, really, with the extension. And we're already at 50, so we have, like, four or five months just to get to uh, another 50 cents a dollar and it doubled in the past week so it could easily double in four months so we got two minutes left in the market big sellers coming in a lot of shorts don't like holding overnight they're still shorting the trend line the, to crack that the 0 0.50 0 0.50 it'll be it'll be a, a little pressure there if it cracks um, 0 0.50, 50. Now it's at 30. We're going to see if buyers take it up there or not. So we got a big buyer right there. You guys see that? Huge buyer at 50. They're going to try to dump him. He's just going to try to save it. Big buyers coming in at the 50. Look at 96,000 a share buyer at the 50 cents. Testing VWAP. It's a battle right now, you guys. Could go either way. Like I said, pressure on both sides. One minute left in the market. The rest of the market is kind of mixed today, I believe. I do watch the SPY, but Mullen X, like, I know they say three out of four stocks follow the market. But Mullen does his own thing, really. SPY is actually up on the day, 1%. Got a lot of buyers that came in on that one. 45 seconds left in the market. They're going to try to push it above 50 again. Uh, battle at VWAP right now. We need more buyers at 50 cents. Got a lot of sales trying to crack VWAP. Ten seconds left in the market. You guys gotta watch more aftermarket. A lot of dark pooling like to take advantage aftermarket. Two seconds. <laughs> Booyah! Big 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 buys coming in on the close. Big buys help me wap. We'll see what it does aftermarket, you guys. Holding at fifty. Held at fifty. Aftermarket bid is at forty nine nine. I think, not too sure, but looking like a gap up for the morning. Let's look at the daily chart really fast. If it stays like this, you guys. If the momentum continues, if you look at the daily chart, we are on an uptrend. And we did basically just crack the 50. The whole goal, when bulls look at this, they want to see it close above the 50. So if I zoom in right here, you're going to see it close right above the 50. So bullish sign, you guys. Plan the trade. Trade the plan. Be careful. See you on the next one. Peace out.